Winter event, luckily not the same day, but the week before. It is the uh, Cascades Humane Society's Pause in the Park. Here is Development Director from CHS, Stephanie Sharp, and Executive Director, Heather Lazinski. Hi. Welcome. Hi, thanks for having us. Yeah, I think in the past year event, Pause in the Park and uh, the Art, Beer, and Wine were on the same day. They were, yes. they were, and you know, Art, Beer, and Wine was so, um, they didn't want to compete with us anymore, so they moved it away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. We used to tell people, you know, come and get your animals tired out and run them around and, and do the walk and participate in some of the games that we have for the dogs and then leave them at home and go have fun at Art, Beer, and Wine in the evenings, but now we don't have to do that. It's all right, there's plenty of, uh, both days, plenty of yes. activities. Yes. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. All right, so what's the, uh, what, what is Paws in the Park? Paws in the Park is our annual um, sort of entry into summer um, fundraiser walkathon. Um, traditionally, it was a 1.3 mile walkathon through Cascades Falls Park. Um, and then you would come back and there'd be vendors to shop from. And over the years, um, we added a carnival theme. The Detroit Circus will join us again this year. This is their third year. Yeah third year and um, they're performing for free. So if you have kids, bring them out. They'll be able to see the circus perform for free. There'll be um, aerial acrobatics mm -hmm. and flamethrowers and all kinds of fun and games. So they can do that. They can play carnival games, win prizes. The Jackson Breakfast Rotary will once again be providing um, food for sale and um, different vendors. And then this year we've added a few new um, aspects of Paws in the Park to sort of appeal to a bigger crowd. We are adding a 5K option and it is chip timed and um, sanctioned by the governor's fitness council so you can get your fitness points in that way and then also um, we are we are welcoming ultimate air dogs this year which is we're really excited about and if you're not familiar with what ultimate air dogs is is um, it is doggy duck jumping they bring in a what? doggy duck jumping <laughs> they bring in a pool that's about 35 gallons or 35,000 gallons dogs have to jump over the pool they, into. they jump into the pool uh -huh. they jump into the pool so they're so going to um, take uh, some some kind of toy or something and you throw in their owners will throw it into the pool Heather knows a little bit more yeah. about this than I do yeah and then the dog will so you have a handler on the dock and then release the dog and the dog will jump into the pool and then they measure the distance based on the edge of the dock and the dog's end of their tail. And so they'll give out prizes um, based on um, the distance jumped by the dogs. And um, they will categorize it also. And their only caveat with that is that they ask that dogs be above average swimmers. So if you've got a dog who enjoys swimming and does it pretty well, then they encourage you to sign up. We encourage you to sign up. It sounds like a lot of fun. Do they have to show their Red Cross card? Nope, nope. <laughs> I mean, you get a practice run. So if you, if you sign up and your dog's never done it before, it's totally fine. You can practice before. Mm -hmm. And there are three different splash times that you can sign up for. They call them splash times. But uh, is uh, swimming innate? Can dogs can, I think for some in of the them. lake? Will they yeah. swim? Some. Yeah. Some. Not all. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to find out before you sign up. So yes, absolutely. Take, take your dog to the uh, lake. Yeah, absolutely. We we want to make sure that they swim well when they right. jump in the the pool. You don't want to have to jump in after them. <laughs> no. and typically, dogs save people from drowning. Yeah. They have yeah. been known to do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. You heard about other mammals too, like dolphins. Oh, that's where the mm -hmm. doggy paddle comes from. The dogs actually invented that. <laughs> they do. That's what they look like. I mean, that's yeah. I that's agree. They look I'm like. with you on it. Yeah. She's laughing. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> I'm just taking it on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can find out more about Ultimate Air Dogs if you go to our website, which is chspets.org mm -hmm. backslash pip19. And we have a whole section on it, and then you can click on that link, and it'll take you to the Ultimate Air Dogs website where you can register and learn more, and there's frequently asked questions, and um, I think they cover all the topics there. They have videos. They have all kinds of informational pieces that you can you can learn a little bit more about it because, you know, it's it's not something that I'm very familiar with. I just know it looks fun to watch. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we expect, you know, people to do it and then also spectate. And if you don't want to actually join the competition, you're not sure how your dog's going to do, you can just practice all day. Um, so there are people who do this on a circuit. So they go all around. It's a they, circuit? Mm -hmm, they go yeah. around and they hit a bunch of events that, um, that they can attend. And they work on their dog's distance. And then there are regionals and um, big national events that they can uh, it's be called qualified dog, for. Dog. Ultimate Air Dogs. Uh, yeah. Ultimate Air Dogs is the company. And it's... Dock jumping. Dock dogs. jumping. So they run yeah. off a, a dock, like a boat uh -huh. dock, basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't try this with cats. 
<laughs> it would not end well. <laughs> oh, you know, I wanted to find out how the um, Whiskers and Wine event went last month. Oh, it was so much fun. Was it? it was so much fun. So um, we saw about a, a similar number of people come out to 49 South. We were a little bit more comfortable because we had a few more spaces um, available to us this year. So it wasn't, it wasn't as crowded as it was last year. So we were really excited about that. And we still had five wineries. One of them ended mm -hmm. up bringing beer, so yeah. that was that was a lot of fun. So we had a little bit um, a for a little bit of variety mm -hmm. for the fellas, the Tomcats. The Tomcats. Yeah. All right, so there'll probably be a third annual. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. We'd love that. The um, Paws in the Park. It's a, a fundraiser. So how how exactly do you raise money? Do you charge people to throw their um, dogs into the <laughs> well that's through ultimate air dogs and yes there's a registration fee for that but we also ask that you register either for the 5k to run that or to walk in the walk mm -hmm. and then when you do so you'll have the option to um, also sign up for a fundraiser page and that's peer-to-peer -peer fundraising where you um, create a page about why you love CHS or why you love animals why you own animals why this is uh, meaningful to you and then you can share that to your social media and we make it really easy to just sh share it out you know, and for us, even $5 goes a really long way. I mean, that will pay for someone to be microchipped. So mm -hmm. uh, that means an animal that gets lost can find their way home. And that, that's a big deal to us and a big deal to owners. So um, if people can, you know, fundraise for us, that helps a lot. We're a nonprofit. We don't have any government funding. We don't have funding from national humane organizations. So events like Paws in the Park, individual fundraisers, things like that, that that's how we function. That's how we're able to see the over 1,400 animals that we get in every single year so it means a lot to us we have some pretty um awesome incentives also this year we've revamped things mm -hmm. so if you raise fifty dollars you get a free entry into either the 5k or the walk which is the 1.3 mile walk mm -hmm. and um, if you raise 250 dollars we have a really nice canvas tote with all kinds of fun chs swag and treats and toys for your dog um, and then it, it just goes up the top team so you can create a team um, you can you can do that with your workplace mm -hmm. or you know your different friends, people family, yeah. friends family different people that you know the top team has has some pretty interesting um, incentives. incentives this yep. year yeah so I mean we've really we've really put together a really mm -hmm. nice collection mm -hmm. um, including being fe featured in Jackson magazine so that's that's pretty fun great this is uh, I think kitty kitten season mm -hmm. yes. yeah so are you inundated with I have quite a few we do, <laughs> we do. <laughs> It's pretty typical. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it just goes to show the importance of spaying and neutering your pet. And if you can go to your vet, we encourage you to do so. If you can't afford to go to your vet, we do have a low-cost spay and neuter program um, that we would encourage everybody to, to seek out. Or if you have a feral cat that you're taking care of, it's only $10 through our feral cat mm -hmm. sterilization program. Very easy. You can borrow a trap. Um, mm -hmm. So $10 and you would prevent thousands of kittens probably from being born because every cat can actually have two litters every year so that's you know three to eight kittens mm -hmm. twice a year multiplied by however many years that they're alive it's a lot of kittens so we would definitely encourage everyone to spay and neuter their pets I was wondering about the I-94 construction how it's affected you and one way it's obvious is you can see from the highway a lot better your yeah. oh, yeah. facility. That's, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, you can drive by and see it now. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's impacted us too much. I think that they've done a really nice job of keeping the lanes open. Um, it's a little bit of a headache because I think there's a little bit more traffic but um, you know we're accessible also from the south. You can come up Elm Street so mm -hmm. it's, it's not too bad. And uh, this week we had a really cute um, dog on our uh, Dog of the Week. The Pet of the Week, yep. Yeah. Um, well, I forget his name. Butterscotch? No. Oh, Not it butterscotch. wasn't Butterscotch. It was the, it was the, um, the vampire Penny. one. Penny. 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 The pe I call okay. her saber tooth. Penny. Yeah, so she, yeah. It was she a German had... Shepherd. Oh, no, I thought it was a German Penny. Shepherd. I thought it was Penny. Oh, so it was a German J Shepherd Jager? mix. Jager? Athena. Jager? Oh, Athena. Athena? We have a lot Athena of animals, home. if you can't tell. Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> if you're so, in the market, come on by. Last we year, have so many we can't keep track of them. Last year, we, um, we helped connect 1,348 animals oh, to with their forever homes. can't remember all their names. You know, we, yeah. And we do, we go back and we see them. The one that I see the most right now um, is Wonder, who just came in. Mm -hmm. um, and he, we were Look, trying, oh, there's Athena, yay! You forgot about her already. I wonder if, I wonder She's if Athena beautiful. went home. I don't. Did she get home already? 
Well, that's what happens when they're on the yeah. dog of the week. Yes. They get yes. adopted they get a lot right of away, attention. don't they? They do. They do get yeah. a lot of attention because yeah. we, we see it on Facebook. We see it out here on the Bart Holly Show. And yeah. So I think it could hmm. be gone. All right. See if the uh, Cascades. Paul's Park. Paul's yep. in the park. Yes. Yeah. Paul's June 1st, 1st. 1st. From 9 to 2. Be there we'll or be there. square. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks, Heather. Thank Thanks, you. Bart. From the Cascades Humane Society. Uh, Heather Lazinski and Stephanie Sharp. Uh, next on the show.